Look at the design for Bio Broly. Look on a mask with my boy. He's a walking piece of crap. And unfortunately, this was the first DBZ movie I ever owned. Ugh. Why does this exist? Better yet, you know what? You know what? It would have been fine as a more Hercule-centric, Lovecraftian, Goonies-type adventure with Goten and Trunks. The cultured ooze is actually a unique take reminiscent of the blob, as are the bio-warriors. There really could have been something here, but water being the weakness? Really? And the monstrosity that is Broly, you took that concept and applied it to a clone of Broly? It's a joke, and a mean one. How the mighty have fallen. Use it on something other than one of the best villains you've ever had. Just make an original story. You know what? I just, I can't. I can't. I'm gonna keep going. Android 18 gets some nice moments to kick some butt, which is cool. And Krillin is always great to see. And it's nice to see that Goten and Trunks care about saving innocent people. And they're not just annoying kids who don't know what they're doing. And Hercule is the real standout. He's always gonna be Hercule to me, by the way. He's absolutely hilarious. I love him so much. And I didn't like him as a kid, but I, I, I like him more as I get older. On a weird note, I know it's his stage name. I actually am not sure if it's his actual last name because a lot of people don't have last names in DBZ. But as a stage name, they use the name Mr. Satan. And they shout Mr. Satan, Mr. Satan in a couple times in here. And I, it still bugs me. I'm, I'm a Christian and <laughs> he's a complete goof and a sham. So what's that tell you about the enemy? Anyway, just a side note. It's just funny how that brings back memories. The ending tease is a movie we never got but should have been the actual sequel to Broly's second coming. We mentioned how that was a disappointing premise, but had a great finish. But the idea that Broly is so strong that he breaks out of hell in Otherworld, past Goku and company, to the point where King Yama allows him to go after him, and we get the part of Broly 2 that was decent mixed in. It could have set up Janemba and gone straight into Fusion Reborn, but that didn't happen. I love the idea of that though. I fast forwarded through at 1.5 speed on my PlayStation for a lot of this because I just wanted it to be over. Credit where credit is due at the places I actually laughed and did have some fun and for unique story ideas. It's nicely animated with, strangely, a forgettable soundtrack and cast of characters. It's just not interesting. It's coherent enough and well made from an animation perspective, but overall it's just really silly, dumb, and a disgrace, an absolute disgrace to the title character. If he wasn't in it, it'd be higher for the elements that are interesting. Broly is the worst part of that in this movie and that is a huge problem. But the elements that are interesting, like I've mentioned at the beginning, save it from being the lowest bottom feeder of a score. Die-hard DBZ fans can find some things to enjoy, ish. But it's largely insulting and again a giant missed opportunity with a Lovecraftian premise. Lastly, Trunk shows his butt again, and his privates, to Broly while giving him the finger. Is that a sign of how these creators felt about Broly in this movie or what? I give Bio Broly 1.5 out of 5 stars. It's so moments like this where I really test my catchphrase to always look for the good, which I did try. So I'll just end this with asking you to like and subscribe this time. <laughs>